David was making this prayer. His son Absalom. Hallelujah. Amen. When he had turned against him. And when he had waged war against him. And yet he was his son. Hallelujah. Amen. He saw that the enemies. And he said, My enemies are many. Many have surrounded me. Even those that he thought that were on his side. He saw he realized they were not on his side. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And many were talking in their thoughts. He has no help from God. At that moment, they saw that, like David. It was left Hallelujah. by God. Amen. They thought God had left David. They thought God had left him. In their souls they used to speak. He has no help from God. He no longer has help from God. At that moment where he has reached, he can no longer go home. Tap your neighbor and tell them. There are those that are saying you cannot go beyond this level. They are those that talk and see in that situation and they say this time you cannot go out from Hallelujah. that place. Amen. They speak in their souls saying David has been left by God. God. He no longer has any help. Hallelujah. Amen. There are those that may see you and they see like God has left you. They see like God has forgotten you and they say you no longer have help. You no longer have, no longer have a journey but I'm here man. to strengthen you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord that came and helped David. He's the same Lord that is coming to help you. Hallelujah. Amen. And here he says, on the third verse, but you, but you, oh Lord, I am a shield for me. Hallelujah. Amen. My glory, and the one who lives up my head. David not knew this. And he said, God, you are my shield that keeps me. And you are my God. My glory. You who lives my head. You know whenever you're going through a situation, whenever you're going through a situation, the head is always down. Is there someone who gets that? There are times when you walk and your head is down. You sit in your house and your head is bowed down. They tell you this is not happening. You cannot say Hallelujah. anything at that moment. What you do is to put your head down. Hallelujah. Amen. But David knew it very well. And he said there is a Lord who stands before Hallelujah. me. Amen. He said God is my glory. And for sure it is God that lifts my head. Amen. There is somewhere in the book of Leviticus that God breaks the yoke so that we walk with our heads straight. Amen. Let me tell you most born again. Our heads are bowed down. They are on the ground. Everyone, lift your head. Lift your head. But if there is something we are plaguing, and if there is anything we are talking about concerning money, you will see people bowing down their heads. The head cannot be straight. <laughs> Have I, am I telling Hallelujah. them? Amen. Because you know what is in your pocket. You know the situation you're going through. The head cannot be lifted up. What you do, you bow down your head. So for us, when you do that, we shall just know. By the time you see so and so, boy, you say, things are not good. Hallelujah. Amen. But if God came and helped David, and David became strengthened, and he said that God is my glory, that is the Lord that lifts my Hallelujah. head. Amen. Even if you say that you are going to be overcome, but I have God. David wanted to 
making known to them that he has God that he has God he knew his head Whoever, the only person that lifted it up is God Hallelujah. Amen Even you are going to make a prayer And tell God Lord Help me and be my glory Be my glory in my home Be my glory at my workplace Be my glory in my family Be my glory in church Be my glory wherever I move And make me walk while my head is lifted up Hallelujah Amen. Let your head be lifted up. Let it not be bowed down. The men, when they ask some things from you at home and they are not there, they do this. The women that are here, when you tell your husband, my dear, we don't have this, and you see him bowing his head down. Don't mention anything else. Just know that by the time he keeps quiet, by the time he bows his head down, because if things are good, he'll just touch his pocket and give you the money. But if you see him, him bowing his head down, just know there is nothing in his pocket. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't even waste your time asking. So we are going to make a prayer. And you tell God, may you lift my head so that I walk when my head is lifted up. In the name of Jesus Christ, you who lifted David is head. Hallelujah. Amen. Because people had gathered with Absalom, those that were near next to David, when they saw Absalom, they said, let's go to Absalom. The glory that we wanted, that we, we saw to David, he didn't give it to us. So what we have to do, let us cross and go to Absalom. So now, poor man David, he remained with very few people. But all of them in their glory, they all went to Absalom. Knowing they were going to be added something. Knowing they were going to be lifted up. So when they looked among themselves in their souls, they said, now David is finished. Hallelujah. Amen. There was also a wise man called Aksofer. He was a wise man. He also ran to Absalom. But even David feared. Hallelujah. David stood on his feet and said, Lord, let their plans, let his plan be. Hallelujah. Amen. He had brought good wisdom. The wisdom that he had brought would make them overcome. But because David had made a prayer, the wisdom of Axofer died. David, David overcame afterwards. Amen. The fifth verse. With my voice, I call upon the Lord. And he answers me from the Holy Hallelujah. Hill. Amen. With his voice. With a voice that is high. And he said, I pray to the Lord. He's the one who will answer me. Each one of us, you're going to lift your voice. And you pray for yourself. Tap your neighbor. Tell them you're going to lift your voice. And pray for yourself. You know people know to encourage themselves. But when they are not well. So this time you are going to lift your voice. Eh? When David talked among them. When their souls were thinking <laughs> about David. That he had failed. That he has no help. And his glories has left him. David went and encouraged himself. And he said I know there is God who keeps me. I know there is God that is my shield. 
church and I know that God is my glory and I know that God is going to make me stand. He is going to put me back. David lifted him God with his very voice. Hallelujah. Amen. It reached a time Absalom died. Those that had followed Absalom, they also became weak. And David remained. Hallelujah. So, amen. David overcame so that enemy that is running after you don't fear him whoever is around you don't fear him he may be powerful but there is a God that is powerful that we have Hallelujah. Amen. that situation that you're seeing that, is, that debts that you're seeing that there, but there is a God that manages that debts there is a God that manages Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. You also know you're being disturbed with rent. Hallelujah. Amen. You suffer paying rent. Hallelujah. Amen. Even when you're where you're renting, it's not an expensive. Place. But raise your hand and tell God, but Lord, today I lift my voice to you. You, the Lord who is above, because of this situation that has been surrounding me, Lord, take it away from my life. Come and save me from this situation. If there is poverty, tell God to heal you out of poverty. God can save you from poverty. God can save you from death. God can save you from any situation. If we pray, this man was squeezed. It was a tight situation for him. He went and called upon God. And God removed him from that tight situation. And he put him in a... Friends, we can still call heaven. Tap your neighbor and tell them we can still call the heaven. Tell them you You are not well off But we can still call God And God puts in a better situation Amen I do not want you to compromise with where you stay Amen I don't want you to be contented you can still call upon God and God also gives you your own home. Hallelujah. Amen. It is very possible. Hallelujah. Amen. By the time you leave that place you're renting, you go to your home. So when I tell you to pray, let's pray. Amen. You work but you even don't have a plot. Even on your account you don't have even 300,000. But every day you work. How much do you have on your account? <laughs> God is alive. There are those that even don't have an account. We speak about them, but they don't have them. Okay, let's talk about mobile money. You have debts on your phones. The phones have debts. Hallelujah. By the time you load it like this, it is chopped. Hallelujah. Amen. So when we tell you get up and we pray, you sit. Eh? The phone has dates. You bought airtime. So when you want airtime, you request some other person. You're born again, but you don't want to pay those debts on your phone. Then you're with that yoke of debts. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we tell you to pray also, you're like, put on your strength. Then you'll see them moving. You know my things. You know me. You know me, I'm Jane. You know everything about me. And you're going to put everything right. Hey, hey. The man. Jacobo. James. James. He struggled with the angel. 
He's pressed the angel. He told the angel, I'm not leaving you. Until you. Until you give me a blessing. Until you even change this name of mine. Yes. And you give me a new name. And the man told him time has gone. By the end of it all he wasn't able to walk well. He was limping. He was squeezed properly. You know that. <laughs> They he said, however much you I'm not leaving you. The men you know, when they handle you well. Hallelujah. Amen. By the end of it all, he said, however much you're until he got his blessing. And his name also was changed unto us Israel. Amen. It means there is a prayer that we are going to make. We are going to pray. Tell your neighbor. Stand up on your feet. And you pray. Hallelujah. Amen. The man made a prayer. And he said, I'm not leaving you until. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your friend, I'm also going to pray. Because my salvation belongs to God. God, you're going to protect me.